Welcome back. We're getting cozy as we wrap up our fall into wellness week. Here to teach us all about the Danish concept of yoga. Hyoga. Hyoga. Hyoga is Vern Yip, who is going to correct us as well. How do we actually say it? Oh, oh you're asking me? Well, it's it's like hyoga. Hyoga. There's actually like 12 vowels in, in the yeah. Danish language, but you know, for English language here, we say Hyuga. What, what is Hyuga? So Hyuga is perfect for this time of year. It's all about wellness in your home because mm. you're embracing tranquility, mm. you're embracing coziness, and you're practicing mindfulness. Vern, oh. you're dressed down today. Normally you're in a yes. perfect suit and tie. Is that part of Hyuga? Are you skiing? Uh, the, I, I, the, I inherited this from my Danish grandfather. Oh. No, I'm just oh, wow. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm we just send kidding. our love. Um, no, you know, this is part of it. You know, big, cozy. chunky texture knits. Yeah. yeah, you think cozy. So the first thing that you're looking at is lighting because in Hyuga, you really want the lighting level to be low and intimate. Mm -hmm. If you have a fireplace, that's Hyuga. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, and so many of us don't, uh, candles are a great way to go. Now, these are the battery-operated kind, but you can have the real kind. Okay. You're trying to get that lighting level down. Okay. Uh, and you see how everything is nice and neutral. Uh, the other thing is dimmers. So dimmers are such a great way to get that lighting level down. They're very inexpensive. Uh, if you don't know your way around electricity, make sure you have a professional put those dimmers in. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then that cord right there is a lamp, uh, the one right next to the dimmer switch, uh, you can plug a lamp into. Now that, Allie, this what you, one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't need an electrician for that. You just plug the lamp right in and the light dims itself. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. <clears throat> now, Allie, what you were just holding up yes. is so cool. Okay. So it, what Didn't you know is, that was so cool? Yeah, that's, why, so that's cool. why I grabbed yeah. it. It's very <laughs> Hyuga because that end on your left hand just screws into the, the socket of a recessed can. So you can oh. instantly turn a recessed can into pendant lighting. Uh, wow. Yes. You it's get a game a, changing. It, it is it game is. changing. And of course, uh, the, the fairy lights or the twinkly lights, mm -hmm. we put them out during the holidays. But you know, with <laughs> Hyuga, you have them out year round. Oh, good. Yeah. So over here, yes. this is sort of another principle of Hugo, which is all about embracing uh, Mother Nature. Oh, one last thing. This yeah, light. this I want to play with. So yes, I have is, these, and these are you? fantastic. So it's battery powered or charge it, recharge it. You charge it you like you would a phone. It. Yeah, and so what's so great about that is that of course you get that low level lamp lighting, and you don't have to have a cord. You can. You can put it around anywhere because it's portable. Yeah, and also right next to your bed at night, you just go, good night, honey, good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be lonely again. No, you, you won't. <laughs> now, embracing the outdoors is a very important concept of Hyuga, uh, bringing Mother Nature in, especially during the winter months, uh, using wood textures and wood vessels. So we have this giant wood vessel, and we filled it with these moss balls. And what's so nice is you don't have to water this. It's not going to turn brown on you. Uh, so it's a great way to have that. Oh, yeah? You ready? Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Nice catch. Nice great light. core workout as yeah. well. Yes, exactly. Pine cones, of course, another great option. Eucalyptus. Mm. Now, this will last a couple of weeks. And again, in terms of wellness, very, very soothing. Lavender, again, mm -hmm. great way to sort of calm the environment. Uh, a wheat stalk, you don't have to keep that alive, obviously, because it's already dried. Uh, and then apples. I always love a little pop of color with the apples because they're so affordable. They last a couple of weeks in a bowl. So these are all great ways to really embrace the Hugo concept and bring the outdoors in. Love it. I I'm love it. very decompressed. Wow. Well, when we come back, we are going to see even more ways to be cozier. We'll be right Vern. back. Yes, we're back with Vern Yip, who's teaching us all about Huga. Huga. Vern, what else do you have? Ooh, besides this gorgeous, I gorgeous know. faux fur blanket that is going to bring us some so huga in you our home. You can like pet that all day. So oh. really, pillows and throws, but really sort of embracing the chunky textures, the thick knits, and faux animal fur. And I want to stress, yeah. faux is super, super important. Uh, and it's really, I've, you know, they make such great faux fur right now. You'd never know the difference. Uh, and in terms of animal prints, what you have in front of you, Ryan, that's a deer print. Oh, I and didn't recognize it. That is perfect. Perfect for Hugo. Mm. So you, you're not really embracing like cheetah or leopard. I mean, it's really like these sort of neutral woodland, deer spotted kind of prints. woodland animals. Woodland right? creatures. Yeah. yeah, and you can see in this chair up front, we've got all that pulled together to show you how you can so easily 
put that, uh, put that together in your own home. Okay, very good. Um, and then when it comes to sort of displaying things, you wanna keep it a little more pared down, a little simple. So I love these acrylic boxes. These are actually real leaves. They're from Central Park. I took them this morning. I embraced Huga and went out and got my leaves. Oh. Uh, but just keeping them simple in the clear box isn't so much of a visual distraction. So you can be, uh, you know, talking to the person that you're with or focused on being mindful instead of being distracted by a lot of visuals. inexpensive and simple. So simple. Yeah. yeah I hate the leaves were free. When I mean, you were out there in the park, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum listened to 100 shows before. You guys have had productive mornings. Yeah. Very productive. Yes. I got two little kids. I'm up at like five. <laughs> um, and then, of course, storage. Storage is so important because you don't want stuff like everywhere. You want it yeah. cluttered, but you want to embrace it in a natural way. So things that are lidded, uh, rattan and baskets. Uh, so you can put your throws in here, you can hide things, and you're not looking at the mess on the top. What do you put in the one that says tranquility? Uh, anything that's going to make you tranquil, and I'll let you decide what that, what right. that would be. <laughs> but you, you just said you have two kids, so a lot of toys and stuff must go in those baskets, right? Yeah, I toys mean... Toys are chaos to me. If it were a little bigger, I'd stuff myself in there just right. to get away. But, yeah. And listen, it's great to see you, Vern, for all these tips and more. Visit our website. Don't forget to check out Vern's book, Vacation at Home Everywhere. Books are sold. We'll be right back. We're going to open up the inbox after yes. this. Good to see you, Bob. Thank you.